Hi there and welcome to today's live stream. I am Monique Bradley, a devoted foodie, and I'm in the kitchen tonight with the amazing effervescent Claire Turnbull, <laughs> nutritionist extraordinaire. I'm super excited because today we are actually powered by Kenwood and you've got some hacks to get the most out of the Kenwood machine, right? I do, absolutely. So we have got the most incredible Kenwood kitchen machine here. So this chef not only makes the most amazing cakes and biscuits and meringues, yep. but you can get an incredible range over 20 different attachments to go with I'm this. sorry are, yeah. are you going to talk us through a whole bunch of them or are you oh. going to focus on one tonight well the great thing is that this can replace so many different appliances so you can um, we've got the blender extract which I'm going to be using today but also you can get a food processor to go on the top jug spiralizing if you're into that stop it Mixer. If you want to so make instead own. of having a heap of machines in your kitchen or yeah. in your cupboard that you probably never use, right? Yeah. You get rid of them all <laughs> and you've got one machine on your bench that kind of does everything. Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. And wow. it does it well. I think the main thing is that you've actually got a machine here that's built to last. That's wow. strong and powerful. So um, yeah, you can get rid of um, a lot of the other ones and make all, all things go in here. Brilliant. Now we are live right now. So if you've got any questions at all, feel free to send them on through. If we don't have a chance to answer your questions during the show, please just just still keep on sending those messages and one of the team will be back in touch with you to answer your questions. All right, Claire, let's get started. You've got our mm. first hack today. Yes, so the blend extract, which is the, um, the smoothie attachment that goes on the top here, is brilliant because it's so strong, it can deal with hard vegetables, okay? When you're talking hard vegetables, what are you talking about? Because I wouldn't put hard vegetables in a smoothie. Well, I know, and that's the thing, because what, from a nutritional point of view, I'm encouraging people to have more vegetables, okay? So not just spinach, spinach is great, but also, using things like carrot, beetroot, cucumber, beetroot and celery. Smoothie? Yeah, beetroot. So even really hard, we've got some here, really, really hard vegetables. Um, if you chop them up, uh, this is the great thing about having a blade that actually is strong enough to deal with these kind of things. So wow. yeah, because I'm beetroot. just thinking I have one of those bench top mixes, but there is no way that that's powerful enough yeah. to blend a beetroot into a smoothie. Exactly. So if we, we were trying to have a little bit less fruit, so just one serving of fruit um, and more veg. So I, this is my carrot cake smoothie, right? Carrot Delicious. And smoothie. Delicious. I know. My little boy absolutely loves this. And all it is is um, a carrot chopped up in there. And then um, I've got a banana. You can also put frozen fruit in there. Oh. So oh, right. if you use frozen bananas, it'll end up being a little bit creamier. Um, and because the blade, again, is so strong, it's not going to break I with the frozen banana. I was going to say, banana. because with frozen, frozen fruit, sometimes it's too much for a, like those bench top machines or the portable machines. Yeah, it just can't not going to work. No. Um, nuts, so we can put the nuts in there whole. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll put a date in there. I've also got, just for nutrition-wise, a little bit of um, some spices and some um, oats to boost the fiber. It is a cake. It is a cake. But what is really great is it's a great way to add vegetables in there and the kids don't even know. Oh, exactly. The, 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 the other thing that's nice about this um, sports cup is you've got a measuring um, numbers on, on the side. side. So, you know, if you've lost, put the right thing on. Um, if you have lost your jug in your kitchen, you can also use it double up as that. So you just pop the top off, um, use the arrow on the front, pop it on there, and then wow. where's it up. It looks like carrot cake mix. <laughs> And it tastes wow. like carrot cake mix. The other thing, do you know what I'm noticing too? Is that there was a, an orange seal when you closed the lid, right? Yes. Which is fantastic because you're tipping it upside down. You don't want, you know, some of those bench top units, they can leak, whereas nothing's no, coming out No, I know, that can be, that is a disaster. Wow, that seal's fantastic. Yeah, so the, the great thing here is that you can vary the speed. So um, if you've got depending on whether you want it chunky or not because people are quite into smoothie bowls these oh, days oh yes right? they are that I love the them. smoothie bowls um, so that's just a delicious easy smoothie which has got no lumps wow. in it wow right? yeah looking looking at that consistency I wouldn't I, you know you've got hard ingredients in there I never I would never be able to do that with my standard bench top unit that's so much more powerful yeah and if my four, my four year old will eat that so that's um, <laughs> well that's a win taste itself so wow. yeah firstly you can deal with hard vegetables and obviously all the nuts and things as well so there yeah. you go there's your first hack now by the way if you're wondering what's going on, you've just joined the live stream. I'm Monique Bradley. This is Claire Turnbull, the nutritionist who has amazing food hacks to show you and hacks on how to get the best out of your Kenwood machine. By the way, if you want to know more about the machine, we've got some details to share with you as well. This is an amazing range that you need to know about. And the best thing, of course, is the special offer that we have on at the moment, yes, right? Amazing. Let's take a look at that right now. Super excited to share this with you. So when you hit in store, 
you get the choice. Depending on, on the type of machine you choose, you can choose up to three bonus attachments. But you'll need to find out more in store. In fact, to find out how to redeem this special offer, there's a link that's shared underneath the video content right here. All you need to do is click that link. You'll go to the landing page to find out more. Okay, Claire, what's your next hack? Well, we have got a, um, this is a chocolate health smoothie, which again has got lots of hard nuts and seeds in. So some of these um, smoothie makers just cannot deal with that at all. No. But you, can, you don't need to soak them. You can put all sorts of different hard oh, items wow. in there. I know. So would they, would they normally soak down the nuts to make them softer for those? Yeah bench top blenders. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, so wow. the good thing is that it can deal with all that and you're not going to get hard lumps because it's, there's nothing it's worse the than getting to the bottom of a smoothie and having hard lumps. So the great thing with this is a chocolate smoothie. If you put greens um, in with brown, it kind of hides it. So this is a great oh, way to get more veggies idea. into kids. Right? Fantastic. And then you can put um, some avocados are quite expensive, very expensive at the moment. Um, but you can use avocado if you've got any, or you could just use um, more nuts and seeds. So that's going to add to the creaminess of, yeah. of the, the smoothie. When you blend down nuts and seeds, you it makes it incredibly smooth and very, very creamy. And it's kind of, because it's that fat replacement. Um, so when avocados are expensive, basically. <laughs> go just, for more nuts. Yeah, go for more nuts. Excellent. We all need to be eating more nuts. Um, and I don't think people really think that they can put them into smoothies. No. No. So then we'll just pop our milk in there, um, pop our seal on. Now, the other great thing about this is that when you are done with your with your blending up, you've actually got this here. I'll show you. Mm -hmm. um, which basically means that you can make your smoothie on the go. What because do you mean? Oh, this bit pops yes. out. Yeah, pops out. Oh, wow. That's really clever. Oh, so it's like a cake, one of those cake cups yeah, or whatever yeah, yeah. they call them. So fantastic. When, see, now you can't, you wouldn't know that that had two handfuls of spinach in there. Well, never it? ever. It no. looks dark. The smoothie looks dark and chocolatey. Yeah. And this means, of course, with this lid, you can drink it on the train to work or on the bus to work. Yep. Fantastic. The kids can take it to school. Yeah. And, and it's nice and thick and creamy. Wow. Now, I've, you, I've made it deliberately quite thick there. Um, but again, you just pop the lid on and you can kind of take it with you wherever you go. That is genius. Another thing that is really good, because it comes with two sports cups, you can basically keep this in your fridge. So if you wanted to have some now, have some later, and then you can actually, you've got a whole other one that you can make another smoothie for the next oh, day or whatever. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And because then, often I'll do that if I'm making something, maybe like I've whipped up some cream or something and I'll, I want to use something smaller. Oh, exactly. And I can put that in the fridge and then I can still make a smoothie the next morning. Yeah, so it's, it comes with um, two containers, two lids. If you've got any spare smoothie at home, one tip is to um, put it into to these ice block makers. So easy. In fact, what I actually do is I just wow. make a whole batch and just make a whole batch and then That's put it into That's so good makers. because I think most of us probably mm. make a smoothie and then it, it overfills the cup. So you drink the rest, but then you're having too big a, a, a More serving, than you need. right? Yeah, exactly. So to modify your portion size, you're not wasting it because, um, yeah. So, I mean, sometimes it can be more than more than you need for one person. So Wow, so that's a, good a, idea. that's a great hack actually because it's saving you time in the kitchen as well. It's, yes. It can do those ingredients that you wouldn't normally do with a bench top blender mm. and at the same time you can save money and save time absolutely and that's, what it's, that's what it's all about yeah. so the versatility of this is what's, what's so important because mm. essentially you can use this for so many different things and then of course there's all the other attachments that you can get on it so, that's so it replaces good. so many different things in your kitchen now I heard there's even a pasta maker is that right there is a pasta maker I know it's actually very therapeutic making your own pasta you know very wow. therapeutic and I heard too that there's a mincer on there. So for those of you who are interested in making your own yes. sausages, or I know right now for low carbers and keto followers, they love to make their own mince pies because yes. then they can control the ingredients. Yeah. You can actually blend down your own mince in this machine. That's truly amazing. Yeah, and spiralizing. Spiralizing is literally where it's so at right good. now. <laughs> yeah, there you making go. Making those different things. Wow, so that's really, well, there's a couple of hacks in there. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. What else have you got for well, us? Well, the last one is actually something that's not a smoothie that you can make in here. Okay, right. so. I'll get rid of this. I, this is not something I've thought of. By the way, if you've just joined us, I'm Monique Bradley. This is my kitchen. Welcome to my home. Great to have you guys here. I'm here with Claire Turnbull. She's a nutritionist that you need to know. You need to follow her on Facebook. And we're talking about the power of Kenwood. It's not your average bench top mixer or food processor. It's so much more. It's like a food processor on, on steroids, yeah, it isn't really it? Is. It really is. <laughs> it really but does everything. It, because I think a lot of people don't have a lot of space in their kitchen. So mm -hmm. if you've got something that you can keep on the bench and then get the extra bits that you mm -hmm. need that work for you based on what you're into 
to. Some people wow. are into pasta, some people are into mints, other people, yeah. other people are into their, um, <laughs> into smoothies. their smoothies. But this is something that's not a smoothie okay. that you can use um, with this attachment. So what I actually do is make my own fruit yogurt. So Delicious. It really frustrates me. One of the things in the supermarket, when you buy a lot of yogurt, Right. Yeah. And I and actually really like it because it's good for the yes. guts, right? Yeah. And but but the good thing is you can make your own yogurt in here, um, fruit flavored yogurt. So you just get unsweetened yogurt, and then you can use frozen fruit, fresh fruit, whatever you've got. I'm actually today oh. going to make a berry yogurt. Um, so just put your frozen fruit in there, and then top it up with some. So in yogurt. a similar way, you could make your own berry coulis or a sorbet oh. in this as well. Yeah, absolutely. So what I've actually done in front of me there, so I'll just add that in there, um, is I've layered up this beautiful thing here um, where I blended down some peaches, then I layered it with yogurt, and um, it's just I've blended some raspberries on top. So if you don't want to mix the fruit through, wow. you can actually just, yeah, basically blend it So you it could like serve that, that up uh, for a dinner party for guests, right? Oh, it looks a bit fancy. It does look I fancy. fancy. <laughs> um, so the great thing here is obviously once you've made this, you can just pop it in the fridge and keep it in oh, the fridge. In the, in the cup? In the container. You don't have to take it out. That's no. great. Um, so you're saving on your cleaning up as well. Yeah, exactly. So all we do is we whiz it on there. I love seeing berries being mixed into yogurt or cream. There is nothing more beautiful. Yeah, well there you go. On a, on a more decadent day, you could, you could certainly put some cream in there. So the other thing with this is that I that I do actually myself at home. So you've got a nice thick and creamy berry yogurt there. Yeah. But because we're talking about adding more nutrition, um, you can add, you could have added nuts and oats or whatever else into there. And then you've got a more nourishing yogurt that you can either, like I said, keep it here, put the lid on, um, and then you've got it to That's go, amazing. put in the fridge, or you can put it in, you know, little individual containers and then like you've got individual servings of yogurt, which actually is a lot cheaper also because natural and sweetened yogurt can be very, very cheap um, and That's easy to so get. True. And then you can, if you, you know, a lot of people grow their own fruit um, and you can make your own kind of thing. So it gives you the power to control your nutrition and basically make choices that work for you. And I know too, I know for a fact that having a bench, a, one of those bench top blenders, mm. It's trying to do all this is an exercise in frustration and yeah. frustration and trying to use a stick blender. I have burnt out the motor in a <laughs> stick blender trying to make something like this. Yeah, so it's a no for me. You need something more powerful if you Definitely. really, really want to make your life a little bit easier. That's what Kenwood does, right? Yeah, absolutely. Making your life easier. So much easier. So many options when it comes to attachments as well. But you're probably wondering right now, how do I get my hands on this much power in my own kitchen? We're going to show you some information right now. All you need to do to find out about this incredible Kenwood bonus is in the news feed underneath this video, you'll be able to see a URL that'll take you to a website that has a whole bunch of information on how you can get this special offer. Because when you head in store with all the details, you will be able to purchase up to or you'll receive up to three bonus kitchen machine attachments, depending on which offer you take in store. So the store pe people in store will look after you. Final words from you, Claire. Well, uh, make sure that you're making healthy choices when you're doing when you when you're doing your uh, right. you're cooking at home. <laughs> Get more veggies in. That's my main message, and find ways to do that. And that the great thing um, about this fantastic smoothie attachment is that you can get veggies in that taste good in a variety of different interesting ways. I love it. Now I'm just going to the news feed. There have been a heap of people messaging in and saying, I love that you can do so many things on one machine. Thanks mm. Raja for messaging in about that. He w was really impressed yeah. when we're talking about those different options. Can, do you want to just go through, can you remember some of the different attachments? Yes, there's over 20. So we've got a spiralizer, you've got wow. a food processor. So um, a jug so you can make hot soups and things like that. So you can like make that, hot mincer. soups in there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Far so it, it, the, the, like we said, the pasta maker, ice cream if you're, if you're into ice cream. Love it. Yeah, yeah so I am. What, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's not into ice cream? Great. Right? Exactly. And then obviously we've got things like the spiralizer, juicer. So the, the fact is that you can take this machine and make it into whatever works for you because different people like cooking in different ways. So, so true. You can buy the attachments that actually According work for you. you. Yeah, and this is my oh, one at the moment. Love this new one. So remember too, it's nearly Mother's Day here, so it probably is a good time to have Very a look good at this time. machine, especially <laughs> as you may just get those three bonus attachments. We'll show you one more time how to get your hands on this special deal that we have happening right now. There's the information for you. 
check the URL underneath or check the website link underneath the news feed underneath this video head to the web page you'll find out more and when you purchase in store you may just receive up to three bonus kitchen and machine attachments who knows what you're gonna choose it could be that pasta maker the mincer or that jug to make the soup. Yeah, exactly. It's up to you. Things that work for you. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm so sorry if we've missed your questions tonight. It's really lovely to see so many of you on the, on the stream. Remember, keep those questions coming in. We'll be able to answer those questions after tonight's live stream. And as always, stay fabulous. Final tips? Yeah, stay healthy, look after yourself. I love it. <laughs> well, it's time for us to head away. Thanks for watching and thanks to the team at Kenwood I now am going online to order my own because really, I need to find out more. It's time. This is fantastic. It's yeah. time. I'll be heading in <laughs> store over the weekend. All right, time to go. My name's Monique Bradley. This is Claire Turnbull. We'll Thank see you. you again next time.